Ever felt a strange heaviness in your legs or a tingling in your toes after a meal? It's not just discomfort. It could be a sign of something more concerning. Today, we're going to peel back the layers on some common foods that might be quietly harming your circulation. From the snacks you love to the drinks you can't resist, we'll explore how these everyday choices could be impacting your health in ways you never imagined. Get ready for some surprising revelations and helpful tips on how to keep your blood flowing smoothly. Let's dive into our first culprit. Number one, processed foods. Let's start with processed foods, a modern diet staple. They're convenient, sure, but what's the real cost of this convenience? Could your go-to snack be a circulation blocker? Processed foods are often high in unhealthy fats, salt, and sugar, a trio that can spell trouble for your circulation. These ingredients can lead to inflammation and narrowing of the arteries, impeding the smooth flow of blood. This not only affects your legs and feet, but can have far-reaching effects on your overall cardiovascular health. Additional health risks of processed food. But the impact of processed foods doesn't stop at circulation. They're also linked to a host of other health issues, including weight gain, high blood pressure, and even an increased risk of chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. The hidden additives and preservatives in these foods can also be a cause for concern. Now that we've seen the impact of processed foods, let's shake up our next topic. Number two, excessive salt intake. A staple in many diets, but at what cost? While it's essential for flavor and even our body's balance, too much salt can lead to some serious health concerns, especially when it comes to circulation. Is too much salt putting pressure on your arteries? Excessive salt intake is like turning up the pressure in your plumbing system. It can lead to higher blood pressure, forcing your heart to work harder to pump blood through your vessels. This increased pressure can strain your arteries, reducing their elasticity and leading to poor circulation, particularly in your extremities. Over time, this can result in discomfort, swelling, and even more serious circulatory problems. Additional health risks of salt. But the impact of too much salt doesn't end with circulation. High salt intake is also linked to an increased risk of heart disease, stroke, and kidney problems. It can cause your body to retain more water, leading to swelling and bloating. Reducing salt in your diet isn't just about avoiding the shaker at the table. It's also about being mindful of the hidden salt in processed foods, snacks, and restaurant meals. Having seasoned our understanding of salt, let's dive into the fat facts. Not all fats are created equal, and some can be surprisingly beneficial for your circulation. Number three, saturated fats. Let's talk about saturated fats, a controversial part of our diet. Often found in animal products and some plant-based oils, saturated fats have long been a topic of debate among health enthusiasts and experts alike. Are saturated fats clogging your circulatory pathways? Saturated fats have a notorious reputation for impacting heart health, but how do they affect your circulation? When consumed in high amounts, these fats can contribute to the buildup of plaque in your arteries. This plaque narrows the pathways through which blood flows, making it harder for your heart to pump blood effectively. This can lead to reduced blood flow, particularly in peripheral areas like your legs and feet, and increase the risk of circulatory issues such as varicose veins and peripheral artery disease. Additional health risks of saturated fats. Beyond circulation, excessive intake of saturated fats is linked to a range of health issues. They can raise your bad LDL cholesterol levels, increasing the risk of heart disease and stroke. Saturated fats are also associated with weight gain and obesity, which further exacerbates circulatory problems. It's important to balance your diet with healthier fats, like those found in fish, nuts, and avocados, to maintain overall health. After tackling fats, let's unravel the sweet yet sticky truth about our next food. Sugar might be sweet to the taste, but its effects on your body can be quite the opposite. Number four, sugar-heavy foods. Sugar is up next, a sweet danger lurking in our meals. It's in our desserts, drinks, and even in foods where you least expect it. While it tantalizes our taste buds, its effects on the body can be less than delightful, especially when it comes to circulation. Could your sweet tooth be harming your blood flow? 
Excessive sugar intake can have a sneaky impact on your circulatory system. High sugar levels in the blood can lead to inflammation and damage the walls of your blood vessels. This damage can cause the vessels to narrow and harden, a condition known as atherosclerosis, which significantly hampers blood flow. Poor circulation due to sugar-heavy diets can result in symptoms like swollen feet, numbness in extremities, and even chronic conditions like varicose veins. Additional health risks of sugar. But the impact of sugar doesn't stop at circulation. A high sugar diet is a key player in the development of diabetes, a disease directly linked to circulatory problems. It can also lead to weight gain, obesity, and an increased risk of heart disease. These conditions further strain your circulatory system, creating a vicious cycle of health issues. Reducing sugar intake is not just about cutting down on sweets. It's about making mindful choices for your overall health. Leaving the sugar story behind, let's pour out the facts about our final item. Alcohol might be a social staple, but its effects on circulation are worth a closer look. Number five, excessive alcohol. Lastly, let's talk about alcohol a social favorite with hidden effects. While it's often associated with good times and celebrations, the impact of alcohol on our bodies, particularly on our circulatory system, is a story that's not told often enough. Is alcohol dampening your circulatory health? Alcohol has a complex relationship with circulation. Initially, it may cause blood vessels to relax and increase blood flow, but this is temporary. Excessive and regular consumption of alcohol can lead to long-term damage to the circulatory system. It can cause the blood vessels to narrow and harden over time, impeding proper blood flow. This can result in increased blood pressure and a higher risk of heart disease. Additionally, alcohol's dehydrating effect can thicken the blood, making it harder for your heart to pump it through your body, further straining your circulatory system. Additional health risks of alcohol but the impact of alcohol extends beyond circulation. Excessive drinking can lead to a host of health issues, including liver damage, digestive problems, and an increased risk of certain cancers. It can also affect mental health, contributing to conditions like depression and anxiety. Moderation is key, and understanding the effects of alcohol can help you make informed decisions about your consumption. As we put down the bottle, Let's reflect on what we've learned about these foods and circulation. Our journey through processed foods, salt, saturated fats, sugar, and alcohol reveals a clear message. What we consume significantly impacts our circulatory health. Making mindful choices in our diet can lead to better health and improved quality of life. Remember, taking care of your circulation is taking care of your heart, and that's a commitment worth making. We've journeyed through foods that might be quietly impacting your circulation, from processed snacks to your evening drink. It's clear that what we eat and drink plays a crucial role in our circulatory health. Reflect on your diet, make informed choices, and let's continue this conversation. Don't forget to share, like, and comment. Disclaimer. Please note that the information provided in this video is for educational and informational purposes only and is not intended as medical advice. While we have discussed the potential impacts of certain foods on circulation, individual health conditions vary. Always consult with a healthcare professional before making significant changes to your diet or lifestyle, especially if you have existing health concerns or specific dietary needs. This content is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any health conditions. It's always best to seek personalized advice from qualified health experts.